Okay, number five. Number six is asking a solution containing 2.0 times 10 to the negative four, uh, silver, uh, the silver cation, Ag plus, and 1.5 times 10 to the negative three molars of lead two plus. If sodium iodide is added, will silver iodide or lead iodide precipitate first? Specify the concentration of I minus to begin precipitation. Okay, so I'm given a lot of things here. So let me, number six. Give a lot of information here. So let me write this down here. So I'm going to have, I have 2.0 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of Ag+. Plus. I also have 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of Pb2+. Plus here. And it's if, any, any, if sodium iodide is added, will uh, silver iodide or lead iodide precipitate first? So... Um, so I'm adding uh, sodium iodide, right, to this kind of equation here. So what I can do is again, I can I can write the chemical for chemical equations down, and all right, and a all right, sodium iodide, or actually I'll write Ag plus here. This will be two chemical reactions. So this is one, two here, right? So one here would be Ag plus plus sodium iodide, which will give me. Uh, and this would could be in this could be an equilibrium, very much so. So this would be um, uh, it's going to replace it, and it will go. Uh, this would be AGI plus Na plus, and then number two you would have Pb two plus plus sodium iodide react to form uh, sodium or lead. To I lead lead iodide and an A plus here. So again, we have our two reactions here, and then we know here are we have a solution here, and we have KS our KSBs here, right? So the KSP for these guys here are let me write this down. KSP for uh, sodium iodide would be eight point three times ten to the negative seventeen, and then the KSP for lead iodide is seven point nine times 10 to the negative 9. So asking which one will precipitate first, right? So let's look at, let me look, let me zoom out and look at this problem here. And so let's, let's look at the first guy here. So first guy here, I can basically write a uh, KSP kind of, um, uh, kind of, um, I can write our KSP, uh, our KSP, uh, sorry, uh, equation. Sorry, that's the word I'm trying to say, equation here. And so I can write that KSP here. I can write KSP here equals. It's going to equal our our basically our sodium, our sodium, um, our 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 silver iodide here. So our our silver, or sorry, not silver iodide, silver times our iodide here. And KSP for this guy here would be our um, Pb2 plus and I2 minus, right? So we have these KSP values here. And what we can do is we can get, um, we, uh, we, we can create some type of um, equation for us to solve for our, uh, for our uh, to solve for the concentration of iodine, right? So that's kind of what we're doing here. So KSP is gonna equal our Ag plus times our I minus then our KSP will be PB2 plus plus I minus. And this will be to the power of two because I need two iodines here. I need two iodines. So you can think of this as I need two iodines here because I have to balance my chemical equation, right? So this here is my thing, is my, is my KSP values for both one and two. Now what I can do here is I can substitute my concentrations here to solve, right? So let me do that for you. Again, I have uh, 2.0 times 10 to the negative four molars times I minus. This will also equal 1.5 times 10 to the negative three molars times I minus to the power of two. I believe they did the exact same thing here. Um, and 
they, they, they plug those problems in. And remember, we know that our KSP values here are 8.3 times 10 to the negative 17 and 7.9 times 10 to the negative 9 for these guys here. So let me rewrite re this now. Um, maybe I'll do blue for uh, blue for AGI died here. So KSP for 1. So this for 1. is going to be 8.3 times 10 to the negative 17. It's going to equal 2.0 times 10 to the negative 4 moles times I minus. I can simply divide both sides here to get um, to get uh, to get my I minus uh, concentration of I minus, right? So I'm going to write down 8.3 times 10 to the negative 17 divided by 2 times 10 to the negative 4. This will equal 4.5 times 10 to the uh, negative 13 here, which is exactly the same thing as what they got here, which is great. So this is our, our, our concentration of I minus here, 4.5, sorry, times 10 to the negative 13. Oh, that's 15, sorry. Moles, and then for number two, And my KSP of lead iodide, which is 7.9 times 10 to the negative 9. This will equal our concentration of lead, which is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 times I minus to the power of 2, right? So again, I would divide both sides by 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3. And I would get 7.9 times 10 to the negative 9 divided by 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3. I would get 5.26, 6.0. 6 or 7 times 10 to the negative 6 equals i minus squared. You could square root both sides to get i minus alone, right? So i minus here would be 2 point, sorry, 2 .2 times 10 to the negative 3 molarity here. So as you can see, this here is, uh, so I have uh, the, the concentration for iodine for my um, silver iodide and the concentration for iodine for my lead iodide here. So we clearly, so clearly we need much less for our silver iodide, right? We need a, a lot less, right? So again, so it says, it says which one will precipitate first? Well, as I add, depending on how much I add in terms of iodine, well, I know that silver is going to precipitate first, right? So in this case here, I need a lot less for me to precipitate my silver. So therefore, um, silver here is the correct answer here. So uh, so again, which one will precipitate first? Well, uh, silver iodide will precipitate 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 first, sorry. And I'm only, only going to need 4.5 times 10 to the negative 3. So again, this solution here is correct. Good analysis here.